we're standing here on the banks of the Bear Griffin Creek, uh, which is quite a lot to do, but if, in 2013, if we'd been standing in the same area, the whole behind us would have been inundated with flood water. There was a major tidal surge that caused catastrophic flooding and breached one of our defences in this location. I think it, we were very fortunate that no one actually lost their lives during that event, very severe on the River Tees, a major tidal surge. Uh, people at Wilton Engineering had actually had to climb up the side of a railway embankment to escape the flood water. Um, numerous people had to be evacuated into some rest centres in Stockton. Um, 40 residential properties were flooded. Uh, the defences that we've constructed are high enough to prevent that event reoccurring. And we've also added on uh, some additional height to take account of climate change. So these people in the, in the village of Port Clarence and the industry that surrounds it will be protected to a high standard for the next 50 years. by uh, creating uh, a new area of intertidal habitats where we're actually breaching an old defence and building a new defence further back to allow about 30 hectares to flood at every tide. This will create an incredible habitat, feeding, feeding habitat for, for birds and will really enhance the area while also protecting the residents and the industry. Some of the major um, industrial complexes and, and businesses in the area actually helped with the scheme by contributing, uh, either in kind by providing land for us to create these mandatory alignments or financially contributing to the scheme. So it, it's, it's a proper partnership between ourselves and the local industry and we've also worked very closely with the RSPB and Natural England to create these habitat areas. So it really is a fantastic example of a you know a partnership scheme.